I recently did a ham fest video where I picked up lots of good bargains. One of them was this little frequency counter. It worked even up to 440 megahertz, but it was inaccurate. I was able to vary the trimmer capacitor near the crystal and get it nearer to frequency, but it was still reading 10 kilohertz too high. Later, I added extra capacitance in parallel with the trimmer. The intention of that was to get it on frequency. However, it wasn't helpful. Instead of bringing the reading down by 10 kilohertz to make it accurate, it made the reading higher. Adding more capacitance to the trimmer was having the opposite effect to that desired. It would seem that instead of a higher capacitance, a lower capacitance would have been needed to get it on frequency. That would mean pulling out the trimmer and replacing it. Unfortunately, this device wasn't really meant to be serviced with its parts replaced. You can see that because the front board holding the display is soldered to the rear board with all the components. I could have pulled the trimmer out and possibly used it for another project. However, I wasn't sure if the circuit board was through hole or not. There is a risk that I might not have connections between the bottom and the top. What I did instead was leave the trimmer in place and with some pliers, carefully crush its plastic, leaving just the trimmer's two connections. That would mean there'd be no interference to the circuit board. I've just noticed that the trimmer has a maximum capacitance of 40 picofarad. I'm not sure about its minimum capacitance, but I'm guessing it would be about seven or eight. I could potentially add a smaller capacitance trimmer or even a smaller fixed capacitor and hopefully I'd be spot on frequency. We'll first do a test with the trimmer removed and no replacement put in. That's encouraging, 438.968 megahertz. We're below the desired frequency. Whereas before, we were higher, so some sort of intermediate low capacitance value would be enough to get it to be spot on. Three point three picofarad is a bit low, but it's getting there. Four thirty eight point nine eight two three. This is ten picofarad, and it's pretty much spot on. Happy with the ten picofarad, I've now made the connection a bit neater and more robust, and the result four hundred hertz off at UHF, and proportionally less at lower frequencies. This repair, which only took 10 minutes, can definitely be considered a success.